No, right? I was almost on. Uh, so last time we ended the meeting with, uh, you know, kind of just go around and saying, what is your why today? Like, what? why are you doing the things you do? Why are you staying motiv- mo- motivated and staying positive? And we'll just go kind of cl- – we'll just go clockwise with, with Ronnie starting. Uh, I, I see you wanted me to go first because, you know, I was bringing that hot this boy. I'm talking about hot for kids, boy. Woo-hoo! Flipping them tacos, boy. Um, hey, I like but, it. Uh, Danny. Are you looking good, man? I, 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 know. man I, I did my I did my push up today. Um, got whooped, you know, with the you know with the with the golf clubs. But um, uh, the question is, you know, what am I thankful for? And what's motivating me? What's my why? For me, and I, I don't know if I say this. Forgive me if it sounds like I'm being repetitive, but who cares? I'm Ronnie Rice. Um, but my why is be who the person you wanted somebody to be when you're younger. And I know I'm pretty sure I butchered that up, but essentially be who be who you just needed when you were younger, whether you were 5, 10, 20, 25, 30 years old. You know, you needed somebody to come give you a helping hand. Like Brad talks about his story about, you know, him bouncing back how he got after he got out of the correction system. But for me, a lot of, you know, the way I grew up, you know, you know, single parent household. My dad was in my life, so I never discredited him. But you know, I had a lot of, you know, you know, I had to pull myself up bootstraps. But that was primarily because of uh, uh, people who's out there to help me. You know, work with people like Gilberto, the dog, you know, stepping up, and stuff like that. It's because you know I realized that there's a huge need. For people like us, to the younger generation, or even people who are older than us, there's some people who lost motivation. They're older than us who just feel like they've done all that they can in life. And it may, you know, you know, maybe Lord willing, they come across this video today, tomorrow, next year. Who cares? And they say, you know what, man, I like those group of guys, man. They, there was actually some of the things they said hit home, and it actually encouraged them to do some good in life, good in the world. And that's what it's all about, man. I mean, because I can tell you, I can talk about Mervyn Thomas, I can talk about Free Nolstein, I can talk about Dr. Drew Bird. I can talk about a lot of people who've touched my life, you know, young, old, white, black, you know, all rich, poor, uh, Hispanic. Uh, I just got the little, um, got to put my Hispanic people in there. Um, but it's always, there's always somebody who's willing to give me a helping hand to show me the ropes. And one of those big people for me was Shinar, Alexander Shinar. I mean, he's always looked out for me. He's always giving me tidbits of, you know, right, I, if I were you, I'd probably do this and I wouldn't do that. So I think, you know, especially being at home, I think a lot of people might be trying to figure out, you know, what's their next paycheck? You know, are uh, people on their business? Do they just shut their doors? And I think if they watch this video, uh, you know, whether it's from me, Brad, or uh, Gilberto, it probably won't come from the dog. Uh, it might probably will come from uh, Chewy, but I mean, uh, hey, Sue, so. Whatever you want to call you, bro. I'm sorry I'm butchering you up, bro. Uh, but uh, hopefully this is what their video will help out with. That's my why. So since you called out Chewy, why don't you go ahead and, 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 and sling it back at him? Okay, can y'all hear me? Yeah, you can? Okay. Yeah. 